Uh, thanks, Lars and, and Gerbs, uh, showing the courage to come up here and talk. It's, it's going to be one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. On behalf of the family, Jesus' mom and dad, sister, his uncle, I want to thank everybody for coming here. The Blue Jackets organization. You guys have got far and beyond taking the family in this terrible situation. Smoother from their flights here to the hotel, setting up this beautiful service for him. He'd be mad. He, he wouldn't want this. You guys don't know Kibby. He wouldn't want this. He'd want everyone just to have a beer and, and go on their way. Uh, but you guys in the Jackets organization is you guys gone way overboard. Thank you so much from the family. Players, coaches, thank you guys for coming in, leaving your summer homes, and sharing from Columbus here and Cleveland players. Thank you guys. It's a tough situation. We have people here flew in from Minnesota. Thank you for coming. That's where Kivy, when he first got over here, to the U.S. which spent most of his time in Minnesota. Uh, friends from Michigan who drove down. Love you guys. You made Kivy feel at home. Made it his second home. Michigan was his second home. I know a lot of you guys don't know that ever since Kivy joined our, our organization, he would come up and live with my wife and I. Every summer. And uh, he became a son to us. He lived with us through the pandemic. Voter, we uh, we quarantined two weeks before he came up. <laughs> you know, so. And uh, I got to play golf with him every day in the summer. Got to hang out with him, play cards. Lars, there's a reason he had the Joker on his mask. He had that smile that. He was going to get you, you know, he's going to get you, you know. He got to become one of my family, he got to be my brother to my daughter and my son, a great friend to our nephew. He wanted to come to that wedding on July 4th. <laughs> got to be good, best friends with, with Elvis. I want to thank Matisse's mom and dad for raising a beautiful child and giving him to the world for us to share this beautiful angel. You know, he made us so proud. You know, look how many lives you've touched. Matisse, look how many lives you've touched. <laughs> Torts even flew in, and he hates goalies. <laughs> You know, um, that's, the, that's the funniest thing that you ever said. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he made us so proud. You made us so proud. On and off the ice, the way you greeted people with a smile, never wanted to be the front of attention. You beat Canada. It was hard for me, <laughs> but you made us so proud. You made a country proud. I was so happy for you. He had a shutout. He had a shutout, yes. <laughs> if you're going to push that button, he is also the only goalie to ever beat Canada from Latvia. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But from his first game to being on him, around the, on the ice with him. Uh, Kivy was always, you know, one more drill. Right, these One more drill. Fourth these had to teach him how to drive, you know. Uh, but it was always one more drill. And um, we'd stretch at center ice, and 
okay of you to come up after the stretch? We've been on the ice for almost two hours. And he's like, one more drill, one more drill. And I'm like, Kivy, I go, you got back-to-back -back games and you're probably gonna play both of them. He's like, no, one more drill, one more drill. I said, no, you're getting off the ice. And if everybody knows Kivy, when he doesn't agree with you, he kind of looks in the star. Thinks about it. He doesn't want to agree with you. I thought he was just counting butterflies, but he was just look off into space and you go, all right, all right. But that was him. I love you. I always will love you. You were my son. You're a great friend to everybody here. <laughs>